reach out to me with some topics and things they want to talk about so what, what you um, some people basically um just want to all i hear is dating 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 i had a couple people hit me up and saying they want to hear about dating for females in their mid-30s so they mm -hmm. must can relate to us candace that is difficult right Single, um so I, so i said that dating is probably going to be an ongoing topic for us only because me and candace are in our mid-30s right. toy is married so it's always going to be bouncing ideas off each other. Right. So I think dating is going to be an ongoing topic. Right. So I think every time, every segment we're going to probably touch on a little bit of dating. Yes. Yeah, yes. some sort sure. of fashion. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So one of the things I wanted to find out from y'all is because I've dealt with this in my relationship um, a while ago. So what is y'all thoughts on paternity test at the time of birth? What do you mean? Like, are they questioning the like? Are, is I mean, the guy possibly the guy could be questioning? I just feel like, based on my experience, that it should be mandatory. Mm. I got so you. Just because when that, just because when that baby getting them ears checked, gotcha. when that hearing test is done, when that you know all of that, I just feel like that is something that should be part of the testing right some people may disagree yeah and i get it right i think people feel a way based mm -hmm. on their experiences so i feel like it's just something part of the process. i think so yeah interesting that is interesting because i don't know um i know when you're having a baby it's a lot of stuff that's going on then and it's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> is that extra <laughs> you gotta pay because you know they yeah, but the thing right. about it, whether it's extra or not is it gonna cost you extra later mm. So you're basically saying even if they don't feel like there's a need for it, it should still be done. Right. Because even though it may not it may not cost you, if it comes back and it's not, that's gonna open up so many issues at right. that time. So that's you know, part so of the that's thing. Crazy. When you're signing off and you're doing all that stuff and you said, Okay, we swap mom and dad, blah blah blah. Oh, this is your child, this is your child. You guys have Oh, you're saying out. the hospital should make it a thing. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. yes, I think so. But I mean <laughs> That's oh, just me. All kind of wars and everything. I know. Like, I mean, because it's part of the testing. Interesting. I, they're he, never going to charge for he that. Get, That's yeah, he's getting circumcised. He getting his ears checked. He getting that paternity test. <laughs> I think it. All, I think it should all be part of it. Okay. Unless you opt not to, because of course you go to the hospital. Right. You right. can. Yeah. yeah. You can. You know, it's not the father, but that father's going to take the place or something like I that. I mean, that's so. true. Yeah. You can definitely. I, I can see why they make it optional. Yeah, you know, because they know, make, yeah, why they still make it after because some people are, you know, raped or whatever. So yeah, right. But and you're I, saying if you go into a situation with just a mom and dad going to the hospital to have a baby, right? Eh, but I mean, I get that. I get that. That's gonna be a choice yeah. thing. But that's yeah, just yeah. my intake on it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's so like, uh, you don't want the guy to go 18 years paying for child support and it his child. Is. <laughs> so <I'm> just saying. <laughs> That does happen, ladies. You know, I mean, yeah. and you just never know. Like, okay, you're in a great relationship. Maybe I had a little break at one right, point. Right, right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And y'all are both confident with what's going on. But still, that's just part of it. That's like a reassurance. Yeah. Um, you know, it, I don't know. Funny, funny you say that because um, I know someone who was in a relationship for a very long time and they had a break. And then she met someone else, but they got she got back together with um, her boyfriend. But the baby, she got pregnant, but the baby looks like the guy who she was. Right. Had but it's not literally his. literally looks just like him. And she was, she's convinced that, no, this is his child. So, but they, but they didn't have a, a test. They didn't have a test. Oh, so, God. That's See, if they passed that so. law, then they could just make <laughs> not it a law. law. Not a law. Well, I don't think they will ever make it a law, but whatever they need to do, I think that's, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Just thinking. Interesting. Wow. So, that what you got, Candace? Anything? So... In fashion, what do you think, like some trends, what are some trends that you are tired of seeing or like what you think is going to be uh, the next big trend for the upcoming fall season? Ooh. One trend that I do like but I feel like I do see a lot of is that neon green. Yeah, People do a lot of neon it's a lot green. Of, I've yeah. seen it hit really well with certain mm -hmm. outfits. Then sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm over. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm overseeing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've seen it hit, like I said, some outfits. It's like, okay, that's really hit with that right. neon piece in there. But, but not the racetrack. A lot of people <laughs> have been just killing it with just everything. The bodysuits, the right, right, right. piece. Right. Yeah. I'm like, okay, we get it. Yeah. You stepped outside of your box for one. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, um, I'm loving socks and like heels. Yes. And and Me too. Chunky heels. Yep. I just can't never find the right chunky heel and the right sock. Yeah, right. Right, <laughs> right, right. As right. far as, like, the feel. Yeah. So, you know, there was some um, Rachel Zoe shoes that they had at Macy's, and they were a little bit big. Mm -hmm. And I was going to get them because I felt like, if anything, I'll just wear them with socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then what if I don't get enough socks? That's true. So, I think that's a cute trend. <laughs> that I love a cute that trend. trend. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny trend. how they talked about how people are doing the dad look. The yes. socks and sneakers. Yep. And we actually used to look at dads and be like, mm, dad, mm -hmm. her dad came to the school with his white socks. Right. You know. But um, so for fall, I think I like the idea of socks and pumps. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's mine too. And I the dad, I do like the dad sneakers are in. A yeah. lot of people doing the mm -hmm. dad sneakers. I think that's going to be an ongoing trend. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sneakers and dresses. Yeah. What you think? Tracy baby? Ellis Ross, she's really killing oh, it. Oh, I love like, it. God, sneakers and the dresses. Yes. I love that. The mixing of yeah. this. Sequin, like very ultra glam, and yeah. then and a like, sneaker. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. that's gonna be ongoing. She can't do no wrong. Coming soon. Yeah. yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Is she dating? No. No. You know, I just, mean, that's what, the thing that annoys me like, about celebrities. <laughs> Stop keeping fucking secrets. <laughs> like, I mean, you chose this life. She's right. never really been on the scene with anybody. I feel like she might be gay. gay. I know. And I'm okay. Listen. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Right. But what is going on? I agree. Never I with never the guy. Never, never with the guy. I, never yeah. I think about it all the time. Oh, I'll, yes. I see her. I'm yes. like. I said, it's going to come out that she's with right. a woman. Yeah. 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 You think, think so? so? I think so. God. I think that'll taint her image a little bit. That's probably why she hasn't. Come I don't out think it will. I no, no. I, think, I think she thinks it will. No, I think this is what I think I she'll think. get more love. I like, think yes. I think she so? knows that it won't affect her. No. I, I, just, I mean, it's so too secret. Tracy. <laughs> we want to know. Yes. I mean, I think Are that she knows that someone? in this era, it's okay. It's right? okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. Janelle Monae came out, and I think she's right. more like bisexual, not really. Right. She's kind of not dating guys, but she's. Not, I don't think she's committed to being fully gay. Right. But she's. She's her girlfriend's pretty too. Yeah. That Tessa girl. Yeah. Is I never seen her. She had a girlfriend. I yeah. Had a girlfriend, she's in the. Wow. Um, Janelle Monae is so pretty. Oh, I know. And Creed. Oh, that's, that's her. her. Wait a minute. Yes. The one that was deaf. Yeah. The girl she was definitely Creed. Creed. Oh, see, yeah. I didn't see Creed. I just remember the Creed. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's her girlfriend. She's gay. That's her girlfriend. Wow, I didn't know yeah. that. Where do you see that at? Why yeah. see that on the phone? Yeah. Janelle Monae is so pretty. She is so pretty. She is pretty. But yeah, that's her yeah. girlfriend. That's her girlfriend. Wow, I didn't that know that. That girl was gay. See, you learn something new Look every up day. Pictures. You'll see some pictures of them together. Wow. Yeah. wow. Okay. But well, yeah, Tracy, just, if you want to know, yeah, yeah. Or if you, you know, but we love your style. Either way, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. But that's just one person I've never ever seen her. No. Never, ever. But her body is amazing. Yeah. 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 Everything is amazing. Yeah, she's bomb yeah, for sure. So. Ooh, yeah. Yes. So, um, do y'all think that if a woman does not Give blowjobs if that's a deal breaker in a relationship. Oh, that's a good one. I'm just asking. That is a good I'm one. I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> we were just out. I mean, I, I just want to know to somebody about that. And the other question I have is, do you think there's guys out there that don't like it? No. No. I don't. I've never. And I'm not saying one. don't. I'm not saying don't like it. Like they don't prefer it. But if they don't have it, are they okay with it? No. 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 Um, I've heard guys say that they're more pleasers. They like to give than to receive. But I've never not heard a guy say they don't like hey, They don't. Want well, no, hey, not, don't maybe not not like it. Up. But if they go without it, then it's not a big deal for them. I you think like, that's true no. or false? If they don't like it, or if they can go without it, means you're not doing it right. Right. They, they're okay. I agree. Like, yeah, yeah, that's hundred percent. That's gotcha. false. I don't think no guy. Yeah. But I think that I know a guy that um, married. Knowing his wife wasn't really big on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's something he struggled with now. Like, Ooh. she don't do it all the time, you know. And I'm just like, why would you marry somebody like that? Was something that you right. like? That should have been a deal breaker. I'm like, shit, do you put something like that on your standard? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you know, know but pretty educated got a suck dick. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say all of that, but it's like you've been married all these years right. and she still doesn't do it. Correct. And we're cool, so we talk about it, but this has been going on for a long time. Right, and she told you up front that I don't do this. Well, so I, I guess it's like she didn't do it as much. much. Okay. Right, and so now we've like, been married for years. She's like, yeah, she still doesn't do it often. So I'm just like, I mean, but in those cases, do you think they're going somewhere else? Possibly, Ooh. I don't know. I feel, but he also said it's not a deal breaker. So if the, so it's like, I don't know. I mean, she got to find other ways to yeah, please. Yeah, sure, right. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like sex. Maybe sex isn't enough. I don't know. I don't know. Well, is it a deal breaker for women? Is that a deal breaker if they don't do that? Not, not no, for I, me. I don't think not it's for a, me. I mean, yeah, I, don't I agree. agree. I don't think it's a deal breaker. It's very enjoyable. But, um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I don't, don't think it's I'm a deal breaker. With that. I think it's enjoyable, but I'm more of a pleaser. Okay, so I, I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I would prefer not to get it. I prefer to yeah, give it. I agree. But said, yeah. get it. <laughs> I prefer to give it, but I have had someone who's like, oh my God, this is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not a deal breaker or anything for me. Okay. What about you? Agreed. Yeah, it's not a deal breaker. Mm-hmm. But no, it's not a deal breaker. So. Yeah. yeah. But they ain't no guy saying they don't want no head. And if no. they saying that, ladies, y'all need to step y'all game up. Something ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. But I went to Harvard. <laughs> oh my God! I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> You specialize. I specialize. Can you, te- can you teach some classes? Oh, maybe we can get a cucumber. I'm not right. teaching no classes, oh, but the thing the is, grapefruit. Maybe the maybe we can... grapefruit thing. Wait, no. What if we get a cucumber and you... Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. I that thought I'm such joking. a good idea. I thought I'm joking. <laughs> Damn. Oh, but I'm not a cucumber. cucumber. But I'm still single. So oh my god, maybe too. I ain't doing something right. <laughs> you no. know. I'm still single. <laughs> so no. But I'm joking. They trying to put cucumbers now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, bananas up there. I mean, show us what you working. My bottom with. line is ain't no nigga saying he don't want no damn. Agreed. Agreed. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> so y'all are crazy. So tip. Yeah. Question for me. I have a tech question for Tiff. Do you have a like a timeline? Do you want to be married? Like, what's your goal? Relationship goals right now? Um, I guess I see marriage down the line somewhere. I want to get on the right path with a very a very good foundation in a, a relationship. Okay, a friend to build a friendship and just date real healthy for yeah. a few years. Agreed. So if I had to guesstimate or put my dating life in a bubble, mm-hmm. I would say five years. But those first three would have to be really strong. We built a foundation. We're getting to know each other. We're dating really healthy. We had a few ups and downs. Yes. And then maybe the next two to three years, maybe six altogether. Okay. Talk about marriage thing. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would say. But right now, I can't even see marriage because I haven't really dated successfully yet. Mm. You know, and healthy. And, right. You know, like I said, last segment, we date, you date, like you're dating your representative. Yeah, yeah. So it's getting past that barriers. It's like after you've been dating for a while, it's like, whoo, after the six months, it's like, okay, do I know this person? And yeah. You can't even gauge that nowadays. Right. So mm-hmm. I would say, like, if I had to put it on a scale, six years. Okay. The first three, strong dating, healthy ups and downs, going through a few trials and tribulations, and then the next three, talk about marriage and building okay. a future family. Gotcha. That's, that's fair. That's yeah. Right. yeah. That's Do you wish that you was already at that place? At times. Yeah. At times, I know during this process, I'm learning a lot by myself, mm-hmm. and I need to work on some things within myself. So at times, I feel that, but I'm thankful for that time, too, because yeah. I know I'm not quite ready. Mm-hmm. So Okay. For me, I'm I'm what is called a serial monogamous. I didn't know it was the actual. What does that mean? Term. Um, I'm the type of person that jumps from one relationship to the next relationship to the next relationship. Um, so I do rebound, um, but I just don't like to be alone. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. But that's why I feel like a lot of my relationships have failed because I never like set back to reflect. Yeah. Right. So that's self reflection is yeah. so important. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when you bouncing, do you feel like it's right, or you just feel like no, it's just filling a void. Like, Did that loneliness comes from somewhere, or um, you've been the only child. Well, you're not really the only child, kind of. But kinda, yeah, right, right. right. Have my older brother. She's but you sound spoiled. She's spoiled. <laughs> I am spoiled. <laughs> um, it's a good 
thing. It's not a bad thing. So I did. I I used to go to this therapist who told me that I have daddy issues. So I think that's that could could stem from that. The loneliness. Yeah. Okay. Um, not having that male figure in my life. Looking for in a relationship. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because right. I've always either dated like older men or um qualities in a father right 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 have yes okay yes. Right. i can see Somebody that. taking care of me so right. yeah mm-hmm. um so yeah i think that now that i'm taking time for myself it's hard it is, it is hard. so yeah. hard but you have to sure. find a balance yeah because you do need that time for yourself because you can't really know what you want right unless you know what you want right you can't right. look for that in somebody else right. so right i think the time that you take to get to know yourself i think it'll all start to balance out. yeah at least for me it is right and that, like like we talked about last week, standards, um, I felt like a lot of the relationships failed because there were things I didn't like, but I accepted them Except because the I didn't want to, to lose the right. relationship. Yeah. Do you right. see yourself being married? I do. You do? I do. You do? <laughs> I, I know do. Like, you know, ladies, when I we sing do. something, we say yeah. it. I, I, I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You do. Um, for me, I feel anxious. I feel like. Like, like, I would rather be there now. Um, but, yeah. Okay. I don't really have, a, like, a timeline okay. or anything, so. Are those good advice coming from someone yes, who's married? Yes, Toya. I mean, yeah. I think, I feel like most of my life I've been in a relationship when you really think about it. Yeah. So, honestly, I can't really say if I had that time to be, like, I'm going to deflect, you know, reflect on who I am. I know yeah. when I met... My husband, I was like, I'm not dating no guy with kids. Yeah. Mm. And then when I met him, there was two boys involved. So it was like... You gave him a pass. But your right. standards weren't really in place. At all. Yeah. 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 It wasn't yeah. Just something you did prefer. It was. Um, and so I don't ever think I had a chance to do what y'all have the luxury of doing right. now, which is, you know... And granted, I'm happy that my situation worked out to be a healthy situation. But it doesn't always um, work for everybody. But it doesn't... Yeah. yeah. It doesn't always work for everybody. But... Um, yeah, I didn't really have a chance to say no to this, yes to this, so you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like I just lucked up or blessed up. You right. Know what I yeah, mean? yeah. You know. Yeah. So, but yeah, I think that's that what you're saying, you know, yeah. and I get that feeling. I feel like the way you just described, I feel that way in regards to my business. But I know that feeling of, okay, hurry up, right. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yes. come on, right. what are you doing? I'm yeah. about all day. You yeah. Know? So I get that anxiety of, when is it gonna happen? Right. Right. Yeah, because. Like, I don't, I prefer not to date a guy with kids, but I know at my age, I'm probably going to meet a guy who already has kids. So. And, it's, and I'll bracket, yeah, it's yeah. Not who don't. I enjoy dating guys with kids because I don't have any kids, and I've never really had a desire to have kids. So, mm-hmm. I think, looking on, it's like, I don't really want to date nobody to have kids. I've never really questioned that, but mm-hmm. when I've dated them with kids, it hasn't really been an issue for me. And then mm-hmm. it just grows into something okay. like more. Yeah. And I become attached to the kid, and I feel like it's like the child that I never had. Okay. And I can get complicated right. when you're dealing with the child's mom right. or if you and the guy break up. What's too new? Like, what's, oh, uh, you meet a guy and y'all are hitting it off and his baby's a month old? <laughs> I think it's still a case by case basis. I mean, I think really. I mean, he was I think just in that ass, like, literally. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> With an infant, a a baby. <laughs> but I feel like it's a case by case basis because you don't really know what that situation is like. What if it's right. an infant and the mom passed away? You don't really mm-hmm. know. Or if it was a one night stand. Right. Or, mm-hmm. So you don't really know. Yeah. Yeah. I dated somebody that was an infant. It was a young baby. And it was a little complicated on the mom's part because mm-hmm. she did just have a baby. And I do feel like from a female's perspective that there's a lot of female, um, feelings and emotions involved when yeah. you just have a baby. Yeah. So it can be complicated, but... It also can work. Right. Um, but yeah, I like, got, you know, family, guys that have kids. Yeah. You know, it's not, it hasn't really, really been a deal breaker. It could be difficult because I feel like if they're young, yeah, you can kind of mold and get to know them. When you come in at like six, seven, eight, eight you ain't my daddy, you ain't my mom. Oh, right, like, okay, yeah. You got to adapt to that. So my I think it's challenging. Was, tough. was it? My, I mean, my experience was tough because I just felt like. The mom was just like not. I mean, obviously this was years ago, but the mom was just like not having it. I'll be strapping up the child in the car, and she'll be like, "Ah, uh-uh, don't be strapping them up." And I learned a lot of the time it doesn't work. I'm yeah. securing it. Yeah. Do you see that? <laughs> making him sit up. Yeah. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. His dad can do. It. I'm like, you okay. know, like yeah. Right. And then it got honestly, it did get really, really much better, but it was tough, and that was my first. Experience. experience right yeah you know and i'm like you know and even one time we was me and um my husband was going on a date 
and it was like he got a phone call that he had to take care of with the kids mm. and he was like you I can't go. go yeah i was oh. like i don't know what i don't <laughs> Maybe. I think it can work. It definitely is not going <laughs> to work not, if this feeling still involved. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, because I think it's going to be nitpicking was. with everything. Right. The kids. right. But yeah. you know what's anything. crazy is I don't feel like it was so much of feelings involved. I'm sure it was. Yeah. But I think it was a control thing. Mm. Because it's her kids. Correct. And and, she can and tell them what to do. And, like, and, and the, and the person, my kids. Yeah. Listen, the person even told me one time, look, I'm always going to be. Right. You know, basically, when I call, when I... You just gonna have to deal with that. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. So Ooh. my experience at the very beginning, it, it got much better though. Right. But it was very tough because I'm like, you know, mm. oh, I gotta stop out here. You know, they got in trouble at school, so I'm gonna go to the house and talk to them. Yeah. You can call. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, what you know, so I have to <laughs> deal with that. Right. You know. And what did you say? You got better. Mama, kids? You, no kids for that. I prefer a no guy kids. with no kids. Have you dated yeah. anybody with kids? No, no, okay. actually, yeah, no. So that's crazy. Yeah, I have, and I, I, I've liked it. I've had some pull aways from it. Yeah, you know, because you break up with the guy. Yeah, it's like subconsciously, you yeah. don't want to build, have the relationship with the child, but it becomes different because you, you know, right. But mm-hmm. I, I enjoy. It. I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, I guess it's a case by case. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, it was hard. Even like having to not not discipline physically, but to have to say. Don't do that. Right. Those things were tough for me. And I remember one time, this is funny, and um, Bray always joked me about this. We picked up the, the boys one time, and we were going to do something for the weekend. And I was just like, um, and I'm I'm not a cooker. I make meals yes. that my family can eat, but I'm not a cooker. So this was a while ago, and they was like, um, oh, what we eat? I said, we're going to get some pizza. And one of them was like, well, my mom makes like three recipes. <laughs> no, they didn't use the word recipe. <laughs> yes. And I was like... <laughs> I don't, you know what I mean? I guess, you know, <laughs> so he probably gonna go back and be like, "Mom, we just had pizza, pizza, right. pizza, frozen pizza." So all of that no was like, right. Right. <laughs> yes, right out the fridge." Okay, so you know, it's so so many aspects of it that's kind of like it's a lot to take on because right. they're going back and they're gonna tell their mom with every right mm-hmm. how it was. Yeah. Or mom, I didn't like. She told me I had to sit down. You know, right. it's just so much with it. But when it's maturity there, yeah, that mom. Is gonna understand well, Miss So and So's in your dad's yeah. life now, yeah. so you have to respect her, and yeah. you know. Right. But I can definitely vouch for one of my situations where in the beginning it was a little rocky, but then maturity set in, yeah, mm-hmm. and it was just flowed so much better. Mm-hmm. I mean, the relationships, the getting along, it just made things a lot easier. And it's crazy because in the beginning you don't think that it's gonna ever get to that point, right? But then all of a sudden it's like shit, it is working out, you right? Know, and you get to. You know, start coming to birthday parties. Yeah. And, you know, kind of right. like co parenting. Yeah, because I remember telling you, you ain't never going to a birthday party. You can figure it out. <laughs> and then next thing I know, I'm like, where you at? All the way to the birthday party. I was playing the girls, setting up stuff, you know, and it's really a good feeling it's because good. you get to realize that it can work. Right. right. You right. know, it can. everybody set their still till it's aside, and it's about the child. Right. right. At some point. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it can work. All right, let's close out the show. Okay, so that's it for this week. So let's chat. Yes. Segment number two. Yes, hit us up for um, any questions, advice you may have, or any topics that you want us to talk yes, about. Right. Right. You want to be a guest. Yep. You want to be a guest, male, female. Yep. We're open to all. Yeah. Um, at TM Style. Um, Fashion Junkie. At CLTV. Yes. Thank you for tuning Thank in. Till next week. See y'all.